McDonald's has joined other big firms in layoffs. The sandwich chain is planning to close the location sometime this year. Tonight, the parent company of Applebee's has announced dozens of its restaurants will be closing. In city after city, a second day of shuttered stores running short of their vital ingredient. Number one, Applebee's. In the 1980s, Applebee's emerged as a beacon of American values, offering a welcoming and homely atmosphere. By 1999, it had grown into a behemoth with a revenue of $2.35 billion. However, in 2007, the chain's fortune would change when a company called Dine Equity bought Applebee's for $2.1 billion. The chain struggled with retaining their customers, with the younger crowd not feeling the old school look and ideas, and choosing trendier places to eat instead. Things got so bad that in 2017, Dine Equity decided to close down around 135 Applebee locations. And by the end of 2021, Applebee's had 1,578 restaurants in the U.S., marking its lowest total in more than a decade. Number two, Jack in the Box. Back in 1941, Robert Oscar Peterson ventured into the drive-in business and gave birth to Topsy Drive-In, later transformed into the iconic Jack in the Box. Now, drive-ins weren't really a new thing, but Jack in the Box was special. They were the first to really shake things up, making sure you got your food fast and hassle-free. That's what fast food is all about, isn't it? The 1980s were a golden era for Jack in the Box. They had a whopping $655 million in sales and almost 900 restaurants all over the U.S. But then the COVID-19 pandemic hit and it hit Jack in the Box hard. Sales took a nosedive, dropping almost 20% when everyone had to stay home. Recently, things got even trickier. Around 70 Jack in the Box stores had to close up shop because of tax payment issues. Number three, KFC. Founded in 1930, KFC evolved into a multi-billion dollar giant with its southern-style chicken. However, recent cost-cutting measures prioritizing earnings over food quality have led customers to flock to rivals like Popeyes and Chick-fil-A in what's been dubbed the American Chicken Wars. Between 2018 and 2022, KFC witnessed the closure of 156 stores, and this trend has continued in the current year. The number of locations declined from 4,741 in 2018 to 3,918 in 2022. The decline is imminent, with employees discovering restaurant closures upon arriving at work. Is KFC losing its grip in the battle for America's love for fried chicken? Number 4. Subway Subway, with its iconic sandwiches, has been a market leader with over 20,000 stores in the U.S. and a significant global presence. Fred DeLuca kickstarted this journey in the mid-60s with $11,000 and a dream to establish Pete's drive-in super submarines. Subway's affordable and tasty sandwiches quickly gained popularity, reaching almost 40,000 stores at its peak. However, recent years have brought challenges, with a shocking 25% drop in foot traffic Traffic, and reports suggesting that a third of Subway stores are now losing money. To turn things around, Subway has enlisted management consultants Bain and Company. However, despite their efforts, Subway had to close hundreds of stores in 2022. Now everyone's wondering, is this a strategic move as the company gets ready for a big sale? Number 5. Jimmy John's Back in 1986, Jimmy John's started growing, with its second store in Mon, Illinois, and a third in Champaign, Illinois in 1987. Led by Jimmy John Leoto, they opened thousands more shops all over the USA. But over the past five years, things haven't been looking up for the fast food chain. The challenges escalated with an FDA warning in 2020 citing E. coli infections linked to the chain. Turns out there were 22 reported cases of people getting sick from E. coli after eating at Jimmy John's. Now that is bad press, which can absolutely destroy a restaurant restaurant chain. And it did. The outbreak, combined with existing financial troubles, spelled disaster for Jimmy John's, and the chain has been struggling to get back on its feet ever since. 
Number 6. Noodles & Company Based in Broomfield, Colorado, Noodles & Company faced a net loss of $1.3 million in the second quarter of the year, coupled with a 4.5% decrease in revenue and a 5.5% dip in same-store sales. But where did they go wrong? Well, apparently the loss was attributed to declining customer traffic following a price increase. In 2017, the company closed 55 locations as part of a financial restructuring. Despite going public in 2013, the stock price plummeted from a high of $47 per share to an average of around $1.50 per share in December 2022. That is a dramatic downfall if there is any, and it has left the future of the company uncertain. Number 7. Boston Market In 2020, Boston Market underwent a significant transformation under the Rowan Group's ownership. Initially poised for revitalization, the American rotisserie chicken chain finds itself in a dire situation four years later. The company's headquarters in Denver were taken over by local authorities, and many of its spots are either closing down, left empty, or turning to supermarket food because their deals with suppliers ran out. Things got so bad that by August 2023, Boston Market was getting hit with lawsuits from suppliers and ex-employees who hadn't been paid. Comments from current and former executives suggest mismanagement by the new ownership, raising questions about the chain's survival. The way things are going, it looks like the end might just be around the corner for this once popular chicken spot. Number 8. Papa John's in March, Papa John's surprised everyone by closing its Grand Harbor and Queen's Court Plaza locations in the Cayman Islands. The Grand Harbor spot said goodbye as its lease came to an end, leaving both employees and customers surprised. In April, protests erupted at a Linwood location where the non-union staff expressed their dismay over the sudden closure and subsequent layoffs. The announcement, made during a staff meeting, caught everyone off guard. Papa John's, it seems, has a knack for unexpected endings, leaving both its local employees and pizza fans scratching their heads. Number 9. Blimpy Blimpy started its sandwich serving journey in 1964, achieving success with over 670 outlets and $132 million in sales by 1993. However, as the new millennium unfolded, Blimpy faced a consistent decline in net income. A significant contributing factor to this downturn was the sale of a new restaurant, dominating a crucial revenue stream. Financial troubles led to a decline in investor interest, and their stock value dropped dropped. Realizing that being a public company wasn't helping, Blimpy decided to go with the flow and joined the trend of restaurant companies leaving the public market. From 2002 to 2012, they had to close around 1,500 stores. Now, in 2024, only 126 Blimpy outlets are still around. Number 10. Burger King this renowned fast food chain closed around 400 of its restaurants in 2023, facing bankruptcy filings from major franchisees, including Tom's King and EYM King. The chain has already seen 124 establishments cease operations this year, bringing the total count below 7,000. Guess what? With all these changes, Wendy's has overtaken Burger King for the second spot, while McDonald's maintains its industry leadership. Burger King also grapples with with competition from upscale establishments like Five Guys and Shake Shack. With the risk of a potential death spiral, the chain must swiftly address its challenges to keep pace with competitors. Number 11. Pizza Hut in 2020, Pizza Hut responded to the pandemic's impact by closing 29 restaurants, costing 450 jobs. Now, fast forward to today, and Pizza Hut is still facing some challenges. With people not going out to eat as much and living costs going up, Pizza Hut is dealing with a lot of debt troubles. Even NPC International, which runs a bunch of Pizza Hut restaurants, had to declare bankruptcy because they owed over $1 billion. Because of all these financial problems, Problems. Pizza Hut has had to shut down 325 locations all across the country since 2021. And guess what? More closures might happen in 2024, especially in places like New York. 
Number 12. McDonald's Despite maintaining its position as the most popular restaurant chain in the U.S., McDonald's franchisees have faced financial challenges throughout the year. Tensions between operators and corporate executives have escalated, with franchisees feeling the strain of inflated prices for supplies, technological demands, and renovation expenses. Some franchisees, like Rice Enterprises in Pittsburgh, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy as a strategic move to address litigation expenses and restructure debts. While the operator has not announced closures, over 200 McDonald's locations have independently shuttered in the past 12 months, highlighting broader issues within the franchise network. The retail apocalypse is truly upon us, and even the big shots aren't safe. Click the video on screen now to learn more about the disasters these fast food chains are going through.